Are you looking to raise some quail, but you're a little concerned that they're going to be too noisy and they're going to drive your neighbors crazy? I'm going to put your mind at ease with this video and show you just why you don't have to worry about that. Hey guys, welcome back to another Slightly Rednecked video. Again, my name is Chris. If you're not familiar with this channel, I help you to produce your own meat, eggs, and vegetables from your backyard, your balcony, your deck, your garage, or heck, even a spare room in your house if that's the way you want to go about it. Uh, today we're talking about quail. I get a lot of questions from my viewers that ask me, how noisy are the quail? Are they going to annoy my neighbors? Um, is it going to drive the people next door crazy? So that's what we're going to talk about in today's video. And I'm standing on the deck here because I want to give you an idea. You can see my quail hutches over there probably. Make sure I'm pointing in the right direction. There we go. Quail hutches out there. And what I want to show you from right here is from my back door is about the same distance. You can see my neighbor's house right here. There's my neighbor's house. So it's about the same distance from the uh, the neighbor's house. And there's their chicken coop out there. They could care less whether I have quail or not. But I was talking to her just the other day. She was standing right out there by her quail or by her chicken coop right there. She doesn't have any chickens in it right now. And she was asking me, do you still have your quail? I haven't even noticed them. I haven't even heard them for a while. And you can see they're just right there, just hardly anywhere from them. Now, to be fair, I don't know this neighbor here. I haven't met them yet. Um, they seem like nice enough people. The guy that lives over there, I've met him. He says he didn't even know I had quail growing here. And my neighbor that lives on the other side of me, I don't need to show you their house. They, uh, they don't even notice the quail either, they've said. Now, right now, they're not making much noise. They tend to crow mostly in the mornings or late at evening. And I did take some footage. I came out here early morning one morning, took some footage just so you could kind of tell how loud they were compared to the other birds because there's always other wild birds flying around. Really not that much louder than a regular bird. So you don't have to worry about that. Take a second here. When you look at this footage, you'll see what I'm talking about. All right, it's early morning. I don't have any light out, so you know the video is going to be terrible. And I don't have a good mic for this, so the audio is going to be terrible. Uh, but this is a time when the uh, birds wake up, the city kind of wakes up, the crow or the uh, quail start crowing, and I thought this would be a good way to tell you, or to show you, I guess I should say, how loud the quail are. So we'll listen to this for just a few minutes, listen to all the city noise, the birds going on, see if you can pick, pick out which one are the quail crowing. So you can see they're not like chickens. They're not like chicken roosters that crow incredibly loud at five o'clock in the morning, wake the whole neighborhood up. Your quail aren't gonna do that. They kind of mix in with just the native birds in the area. So it's really not a major concern to have your quail out in your backyard or even in a deck or in a you know your garage or something like that. Your neighbors aren't really gonna notice it that much. They're gonna think it's just any other kind of bird flying around making noise. There are times when your, your birds will be a little bit louder. Um, your grow outs, Whenever they first hit sexual maturity, your roosters will start crowing, and they crowed as loud as they can, and they crow as often as they can. I mean, just nonstop crowing. So that can drive you a little bit nuts, but it doesn't last very long. Usually just a couple of days, maybe a week, and then they calm down, and they're not really nearly as noisy as they were before. So I hope this clears some things up for you. Put your mind at ease a little bit about uh, raising quail in the city and bothering your neighbors. Hit that subscribe button if you want to keep up with this content. Consider supporting me on Patreon, too, if you uh, like to see this content, if you like the uh, interaction that I have with the viewers in the comments section and always answering those questions, considering throwing a few dollars my way to help support this channel to pay hosting fees and some of those kinds of things. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always, God bless.